Today, a Senate committee heard from top military leaders about the end of the war in Afghanistan and America's exit. Lauren Blanchard has more from Washington. Was it perfect? Of course not. For the first time since the end of America's longest war, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs General Mark Milley, and the head of the Central Command, General Frank McKenzie, answering questions in the Senate Armed Services Committee on the withdrawal from Afghanistan that saw 120,000 evacuated but left Americans and allies behind. It is clear, it is obvious, the war in Afghanistan did not end on the terms we wanted. General Milley also addressing criticism he's faced over calls he made to Chinese counterparts. I know, I am certain that President Trump did not intend to attack the Chinese. And it is my directed responsibility, and it was my directed responsibility by the Secretary to convey that intent to the Chinese. Lawmakers in both chambers have been critical of the chaotic withdrawal where 13 service members died. This was avoidable. Everything that happened was foreseen. Our withdrawal this summer and the events surrounding it did not happen in a vacuum. America's top brass also facing questions on whether the administration's handling has opened the U.S. to terrorism threats and how America could leave Afghanistan in the hands of the Taliban. We've heard that over and over again, you don't negotiate with terrorists. And now it's required. On Wednesday, Austin, Milley, and McKenzie will all testify before the House Armed Services Committee. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.